Something special? Oh, it's fine. I got nothing but time. What you need now? Ready when you are. What'll it be? Suit yourself. What is it? Yeah, I spent a lot of time tinkering up and down the River Delta. Once old Arma came to town, I lit out of there faster than a tassel worm with its bottom ablaze. I was so frazzled, I accidentally left behind a few irreplaceables. What irreplaceables? Well, just one, really. An orb. I'd be mighty grateful if you would find it. What is it? And if you come across any of my old, beautifully rusted armor pieces, I'll use the scrap to whip up something specially suited just for you. What is the orb? Just bring it back there and you'll make me happy as a sunbeam. Oh, and don't forget to keep an eye out for my old armor. I'll fix it up for you. Free charge! Mm. What sort of orb do you imagine we're looking for, brother? I do not know. Tighter? Are you certain? Yes. Hmm. Looks tight enough to me. It is not. You're not even looking. Don't need to. Your alliance is unusual. I, I think what Kratos is trying to say is he's never seen a light elf and dark elf work together. It's a welcome sight. Hopefully one day, a common one. Mimir tells me you're something of an adventurer. Should you ever find your way to the Forbidden Sands and Alphine... Contested territory. Past the barrens. There are rumors of a sanctum, and artifacts our elders don't want us to see. Anything that sheds light on our suppressed history would benefit all of Alphine. Uncovering secret history? Sounds like my kind of adventure. Knowledge of the Elves' common ancestry is what brought us together. Stories of Alphine before the division of light and dark it's very taboo. Didn't stop you from spreading word of it. Which is how you ended up in prison. Where she and I met. As enemies, naturally, but escaped as friends. More than friends. You can stop talking. Okay. <clears throat> Good luck out there. Do you miss Alfheim? You mean, do I miss the light? Do you? The truth? I still feel its pull. You want nothing else when you're near it. And away from it, you're only biding time until you can drink again from the light. But then again, the light does not make good food. It doesn't play music or tell jokes or open your eyes to new things. It makes you run in place. The more I am away from it, 
the more I see it for what it really is. And I don't need it anymore. Hmm. I appreciate your candor. are usually not the most talkative. I will speak. From birth, we are taught the light is everything. The elders say it is why we fight. But all of that, it's shit. I am more than the hive, more than a soldier. Light elves, dark elves, all elves are the same, stubborn. Brainless as moths, blinded by their light. I know better now. I looked into the shadows, and there I found my people. My home. There. That is all I have to say. You can go away. Thank you for sharing. Looking for something? We can head out the way we came. Done exploring, Kratos. Looking for something? We can head out the way we came. I'm glad it worked. Uh, whatever you helped to do out there. I'm still not sure I totally get you, or what your deal is, but as long as you have her back, I'll have yours. I remember where to look for a gateway. Follow me. Well, you two seem to be getting on since completing your mission. Yet I hope this alliance has some staying power after all. It seems to me we share a common enemy. Kratos, you may not accept that Ragnarok is inevitable, but you're smart enough to know Odin is a threat. Whatever comes next, our best chance of surviving it is to work together. Do you agree? I do. Then as to Brock's offer, you can imagine staying under the same roof as a couple former enemies? No further temptations towards terrible vengeance? Not against you. Either of you. You have my word.
This lock is different from others you might know. You'll need an enchantment on your chisel to use it. Luna. Go ahead, carve the letter. Suna. It's an incantation. I'll speak it. Suna. Lovely. Working together is already opening doors for us. Uh, is he always making puns like that? We're blocked by more vines. Remember what to do? log in the river. It has something on it I don't recognize. So it's true. Tears really alive? Aye. Not exactly ship shape. He sleeps in a broom closet now. But he's adjusting. How did you find him? Largely, that's down to Atreus having figured out how to access the prophecies giants reserved for their own kind. We only learned of it ourselves after Thor and Odin came calling. To your home? Is it still standing? Barely. But all the violence was seemingly just a distraction to let Odin have a private word with Atreus. Odin was alone with your son? Did he tell you what they spoke of? Yes. He said that Odin invited him to Asgard. To help him find his answers. The answers he's rushing into fate in search of. That's troubling. If you're ready to talk to him, the Mystic Gateway is ahead. If not, I have some unfinished business up this river I could use your help with. Or we can follow up on that elven sanctum out in Alfheim's desert. Hmm. If you want to continue exploring, we'll need to remove that log in the river. This. The crest of Skirnir. Never quite as smart as he thought. What is this? I don't know. 
but giants definitely crafted it. There's two wolves represented here. Perhaps a connection to our friends in the sky. A mystery for another time. Good. We can explore the river now. And hopefully right some old wrongs. What is your unfinished business? I left something behind, near the falls. Your wedding site? Now why do you want to be going back there? To be free of the bonds of my marriage. And to Asgard. I think you severed that a long time ago. Not completely. Not enough. Guide us. Said. The ace here burned him. Yes. We weren't yet at war, but relations with the Vanir and Aesir had been hostile for ages. Freyr got it into his head that he could improve relations by sharing our magic with them. Vanir techniques for bountiful harvests, enough to feed their whole population. Getting set on fire was the thanks he got. That's true. The Aesir were too undisciplined and impatient for the subtlety of Vanir spellcraft. So when things went wrong, they blamed their teacher. So Freya was a guest when Odin burned him? Not exactly. Odin didn't mind locking Freya up. He saw the potential of the magic and wanted to know more than how to improve crop yields. Ah, but enough of that for now. My people settled this river many ages ago. Thousands traveled it on pilgrimage to the... Shrine of worship. But then the Aesir came. This is all that's left. Reavers, of course. Please, leave me to my prayers. 
I await Freya, the great healer. I am here. She will cure me. I have been a loyal follower. She would not abandon... <coughs> I am Freya. What do you need? Only she can cure my sickness. With Mangold, Meyer, and Poe. We must help her. She demands a cure. She is dead. She is trapped here, ignorant of her own death. If we bring her what she needs, she'll move on. Certain. I'm not going to do nothing. She needs Mangold, Meyer, and Palm. We should find some. What did you find? As you asked. A no can solve. Stay alert. Get that thing to shut up! Anything interesting, brother? be useful. Oh! <laughs> 
There must be a way to transfer the fire from one side to the other. arrows on the chandelier. Transfer the fire that way. like that work. Well, that did it. That's everything I need. Let's return to the sick spirit. You would cure the dead. I promised I would take care of the people. You do not even remember her. Nor she you. And? Return to the spirit. That's another raven sent to the tree of the dead. Perhaps we should check up on it, hmm? You know, I would have beaten you what? earlier if Atreus hadn't been there. Mm, perhaps. We could go again, find out for certain. I would rather not. I'll bet you wouldn't. We have collected the plants. Could this be? I feel my vitality returning to me. I feel Freya. I am here. I knew you would return. Even as the doubters cursed your name. Thank you. But it's time to rest. You have earned it. Thank you, my queen. I am tired indeed.
Shall we continue? Yes. Astrid's garden. The wilds reclaimed it. It was beautiful once. Lady, I was curious about some of the flora we've encountered on our travels. And you will remain curious. It's not my job to teach you everything, Mimir. Look, I was just asking. And you have been told. Oh, you can say that again. I must say, I think you make a good team. With my brains, Kratos' is brawn, and my lady's, uh... Wisdom? Magic? Ability to tolerate you for long periods of time? I was going to say brutality. That works.
that orb yet? <clears throat> this will be of use. And how is it you two know each other? No, I can't be divulger in guild business. You gotta respect the secret dude of it all. I'm sorry? Let's just say Brock and I have long enjoyed certain common interests. That's right. Like getting us into trouble. And getting you back out of it again. What? That's only most. Okay, so does that answer your question? Close enough, I suppose. Good thing you learned the runes, brother. Waterfall. We're close. There should be a gate up. That's quite a gate. Don't suppose you know a way through? The Pilgrim Gate. I can open it. We just need to find the right vantage point. What did you mean when you said Frey was not exactly a guest of the Aesir? I meant by the time they burned him, he'd been a prisoner for some time. It was a mob of lesser Aesir, bitter and short-sighted, who tied him up and lit him aflame as punishment for the sabotage they imagined him guilty of. Obviously, he survived. In fact, he used the opportunity to escape. But such an affront made war inevitable. Freyr certainly wasn't the same after that, at least for a while. His carefree ways were replaced with nightmares, paranoia, and lashing out. It doesn't excuse what he said at my wedding, but I do understand where his anger came from. Huh! <laughs> 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 
To what end? When the Ain Heriar came, we needed a way to fight back. I suggested Say them. I understand your desperation, but that was foolish. Clearly. I was lucky enough to be murdered before my mind could be corrupted, as theirs did. You must free them. Of course. Say their magic corrupts so ruthlessly. Those poor souls must be in agony. Then we shall give them death. still care for you. I know. I raised a son, too. It may be hard to believe, but he was quite similar to Atreus at this age. He adored his father, always wanted to do right by him, and was constantly frustrated that no matter what he did, he never could seem to get his approval. He confided in me a lot, sought the comfort his father withheld. I wonder if your son could benefit from that, too. He has befriended the other dwarf. The Blue One's brother. Oh. Well, if Sindri has that covered, I suppose there's no need for me in his life anymore, is there? That is not what I meant. That was sarcasm. Always wanted to ask. What was it Hrimthur whispered to you? Who? Hrimthur, the son of Thormur, the stonemason, who disguised himself and built Asgard's wall. Old. We will finish later. <clears throat>
Now, how do we get up there, I wonder? We can. Not with those vines in the way. Doesn't look like we can reach it from down here. The mayor, I never asked how it felt to lose your head. What would you have me say? That it tickled? Merely curious. If you wish to derive some satisfaction from my pain, I'm afraid you'll be disappointed. Kratos swung swift and true, didn't you, brother? I felt nearly a scratch. Shame. You remember anything about what Queen Thru of a stonemason's son said to you after building Asgard's wall? Oh, yes. One of the many occasions Odin saw fit to involve me in a wager without my consent. I wish I could say that was the worst of his husbandly habits. What wager? I've told this story, brother. And now she may tell her own. There isn't that much to tell. I knew nothing of it at first, surely because Odin didn't expect to lose the bet. A mysterious mason had to build the entire wall in three turns of the season. Two! It was two! And if he was late, 
he'd be owed nothing. But if he succeeded, he was promised an audience with the Queen. Or so I learned one day when Odin burst into our bedchambers, raging and half drunk before noon, telling me to get dressed and go see what the Mason wants. So off I went, not knowing what had truly been promised or expected. Dagger stashed in my robe for emergency. And this Mason, this giant in disguise. His name was Hrimthur. He just smiled to see me. And as you said, he whispered in my ear. He said the Aesir had killed his father, and he needed to know that one day they'd burn for it. I pointed out I was Aesir now too, technically. He gave me a look, as if he somehow knew better and continued. He said he'd built in a structural flaw behind the Asgard Realm Tower. I knew it! How do we make use of it? We don't. He said Surtur would know what to do. And if Surtur's approaching Asgard's wall... Then it is already Ragnarok. Ah, blast it. I hoped it might have given us another way. 